If you're a small business owner and you're not using a project management platform like ClickUp, then you're missing out on a ton of tools that can help you organize your work, allow you to effortlessly collaborate with your team members, and even create automations for your business so that you can save a ton of time from your mundane tasks. That's why in today's video, I'll be going over how to use ClickUp as a business owner and how you can save time, increase productivity, and just make your life a whole lot easier through this platform. If you have no idea what ClickUp is, it's basically Trello, Asana, and Notion combined into one productivity platform that is, in our opinion, the best project management tool for all different types of businesses. We've been using ClickUp ourselves for over a year now, and it's been a total game changer for all the businesses and channels that we run in terms of being able to manage our team members and also automate a lot of their tasks in the day to day. So if you guys go ahead and click on the link down in the description below, you guys are going to get taken to this page right here where you guys can sign up. It's for free, but they also do have a pay plan that I recommend you choose if you're a business business owner with you know team members and a bunch of different projects that you need to create automations for. Now, if I go ahead and go to their pricing plan, you guys can see they have a bunch of different options for you guys. Obviously, they have the free plan, they have the unlimited plan, the business plan, the business plus, and the enterprise plan. I would say for most businesses out there, you guys can start off with the free plan or the unlimited plan and then upgrade as you go along. And if you need any of the extra features that they include, which is you know advanced automations, then you just upgrade to the business plan. And chances Chances are you're probably not gonna do the enterprise plan unless you have a really large team, which in that case, you would need to contact their sales. But again, for most businesses out there, you guys can just get started with the unlimited plan or the business plan. Especially in a business like ours, where it's a lot of content creation, we need to store a lot of stuff within our projects. So things like documents, thumbnails, and a bunch of other files, we like to keep track of it all on ClickUp. And so that's where this unlimited plan comes in handy because they give you unlimited storage, they give you unlimited integrations, which basically means that you can use Google Drive, Dropbox, and OneDrive in ClickUp. Super useful because I am always creating Google Docs within my tasks on ClickUp. And as I'll show you guys later on in the video, you guys can easily create one yourself. They also give you guys unlimited dashboards with a bunch of widgets to choose from, and they give you unlimited custom fields. So this is when you're really trying to customize all of your tasks and your lists, and yeah, a bunch of other different features that you wouldn't get in the free plan. I would say the biggest part about getting the unlimited plan is that it's just best for any team out there that wants to add their members onto their ClickUp workspace. You can add them as a guest, but you know, you're only limited to a certain amount of guests. And so if you want to be able to assign them and use the automations within ClickUp to, you know, save a lot of time and speed up the workflow in your business, I highly recommend, you know, getting them onto the team for $5 per member. It's not that pricey. So if you have a small team, I would say this is definitely worth it. And this is actually our plan right now that we're using. So you guys definitely don't have to go all out, you know, but if you do have like a mid-sized team, I would say probably more than 10 employees or contractors, or if you needed any of these features right here, then yeah, you would need to upgrade to the business plan. But for us, we haven't seen the need to do any of that stuff yet. So you guys can do perfectly fine with just the unlimited plan. And I'm not going to show you guys too much about, you know, how to use ClickUp and all the different features inside because this isn't an in-depth tutorial. If you guys are interested in that, you guys can check out all the different videos on our channel that will teach you how to do that. So basically to show you guys an inside look of how ClickUp works, you have these spaces right here. So we have eight spaces right now. And inside of each space, there's docs, there's folders, there's lists, and there's tasks within those lists. So for example, if you have a social media marketing agency, you'd probably have a space for that and then have folders for all of your social media, a folder for all of your clients, and another folder for all of your businesses back end asset. You can then also create another space for your personal, let's say, for example, where you'd have folders for all the things you need to keep track of in your personal life. Inside of these, you have tons of different customizations like custom statuses, recurring tasks, custom fields, subtasks, and much more. But again, this isn't an in-depth tutorial, so you guys don't need to worry about that stuff for now. But basically to show you guys an example, here we have the StartupWise YouTube channel. And right here, I'm at the published section. So these are all the videos that have already went out in the past. And as you guys can see for each video, we have a column for the assignees. So whoever's assigned to the project, we have a section for the writer. So if any writers come on and help us script out the video, that's where we'd be able to keep track of them. We can also keep track of the editor right here. So if I scroll down to some of our recent videos, you guys can see that we have a bunch of different editors assigned to you know different videos. And then we also have some due dates right here along with the priority. So if I wanna you know label this as you know urgent, I can do that. I can also label it as high priority, normal priority, or low priority. As for the notes, I can you know write anything that I wanna keep track of, as well as a bunch of other stuff that we need to keep track of, like the sponsor of the video, along with the invoice status and the 
thumbnail. Now, if I go into one of the tasks, for example, I can go ahead and write something in the description here. So I can write some instructions for anybody that's assigned to the video, for example. Right here, I can also comment on the task. So if I want, I can sign the comment to a person on the team. I can mention them. I can also mention a task and a bunch of other stuff like adding emojis. I can you know, record a screen clip, a voice clip, and I can even attach a new document or files to the comment. Now, if I go ahead and scroll down, I can add some to do's and it gives me the option to choose a subtask or a checklist. This is great for if you want to keep track of a bunch of different subtasks within the main task. And down here with the attachments, you guys can see that if I click on add, it'll allow me to upload any files, upload a new doc, as well as use the integrations with Dropbox, OneDrive, Google Drive. And it even gives you the option to just create a new Google doc right off the bat right here. So if I go ahead and just to show you guys an example, choose the new Google doc, it'll go ahead and ask me to name the doc. So I'll just name this one test. And then if I go ahead and create the doc, it's going to go ahead and create it right here. And if I click on that, it's going to open up the Google doc for me to, you know, just immediately start writing on here. And I can even click on this button right here, which will open it up on Google docs on its own browser. So yeah, it may look intimidating at first, but trust me, it was a hundred percent worth it when we switched over to ClickUp because we were using Notion before. And although it was easy to use, it just doesn't offer a lot of the features that ClickUp does that have been immensely helpful for our operations. At the end of the day, I would just say to start off with the free plan if you're a total beginner and just get started with the basic stuff. And then you can move on to the advanced stuff like automations as your business grows. But yeah, it's overall a great project management platform, even if you're a solo entrepreneur. But if you're an entrepreneur with a team, then you definitely need to check ClickUp out. We'll be leaving a link down in the description below for you guys to check out ClickUp. If you guys use our link, you'll be supporting the channel at no extra cost to you, but it will help us to continue creating free tutorials like this for you guys. And yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this. Here on this channel, we make a ton of tutorials and how-to guides dedicated to helping out new entrepreneurs start their own business. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.